morning YouTube guys and gals so today we're going to be doing a prepping and boring a concrete slab for a customer um, they're saying we may get an inch of snow tomorrow so very important that we get it in today so they can start uh, the next phase of their work which would be framing up the building all right so we're going to do that today uh, my Chevrolet 3500 dump truck, the transmission is now making a noise when you put it into park. So I'm going to have to bring the truck in, have the mechanic check it out to see what's the story with that. So we're on our way to do this uh, concrete slab today. It's going to be around the 50s today, so that's actually pretty good. All right, guys. So uh, I guess I'll see you soon. All right, so we have to put anchor bolts in this slab. So I'm going to throw them in now for the framer so he can frame on top. These are the anchor bolts. We have to keep them in about six inches for a brick shell. So this leg is about one inch. So I'm just gonna count six times. Want to be relatively straight if possible.
Hi guys. All right, so the job is done. The cement is poured. And I just wanted to go over a couple of things with you that uh, I wasn't able to talk about while you know, we were working and making the video. Uh, the first thing is this slab is a non-structural slab. Uh, basically, it's just there to support tile and keep the moisture out of the building. So that's why it wasn't a big deal with the builder. It really didn't matter uh, what was underneath. It's non-structural. It's not going to be holding up anything or supporting anything with great weight. Um, on the edge of the walls where you saw me putting the ankle molds, there's going to be framing on top of that. That's going to be a lobby area. Uh, where the people are going to go in and then the people go into the actual building which was set further back. So there will be framing on top of the section where you saw the wall where we had it framed out with 2 by 8 and where I put the anchor bones. So that's going to be framing at some point. Um, the next thing is the width of that slab was 14 feet. So the rebar, you can get them in lengths of either 10 or 20 feet. So what I decided to do was the owner was going to get, get us 20 foot rods. However, if you get a 20 foot rod, you got to cut six feet off of it. And the six feet is essentially useless. You're going to throw it away. So what good is that? So we ordered 10 foot rods and I tied them together with wire tie. And what that did was it made the bar as if it was one continuous span right across. So now you have rebar from wall to wall supporting the whole center of that slab. And we also ran rebar long ways, you know, the width of the, the building. So that would pick up the support of that center wall. There was a center wall there. I don't know if you were able to see to support that slab as well. So you had a lot going on in this general area. And uh, that was basically it. We used 3,500 PSI concrete and we poured it at about a six inch degrees now, plenty of sun. So it was actually getting pretty hard when I left already. Uh, we put a 2% accelerator in the high early, they call it, this particular concrete company. And, um, so uh, it'll get uh, hard pretty quickly. Okay, thank, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, any questions, comments, please leave them below.